good morning start off my beautiful 13 day trip to southwest uh, US taking you all through all the scenic views uh, that I'll come across uh, the first two days are just uh, doing a lot of kilometers miles uh, you know to reach the destination and then uh, once we reach Colorado past that this uh, second day is when the real fun starts so a lot of kilometers coming for the first two days uh, 1300 kilometers today that's about let me look here um, I would say about like uh, 700 800 miles stay tuned uh, and you know let's enjoy the trip together two hours and 20 minutes into our start of the first ride and we're taking our break the on route is coming in like two to three kilometers beautiful nice sunny day nice clear skies and uh, yeah first break my friend who is in front of me will be uh, having his breakfast and I decided to you know we'll take a break fill up gas and then head again further I am about still thousand kilometers to our destination for the night which is Loa so that's where the first stop is and thousand kilometers for anyone who doesn't know is about uh, I would say uh, 650 miles around that much still left and we've done about 260 kilometers so we have done about uh, 150 miles or so I would say yeah or, but yeah excited pumped rocking my new gloves these are the climb Baja S4 gloves uh, breaking in today I'll be reviewing them once I'm back from my trip after 13 days but for now uh, this is how they look so pretty comfortable for in the first uh, two and a half hours and uh, let's see how the trip goes here comes the en route I think but you can park anywhere plenty of parking after this the next stop will be crossing the border that's the Triumph 900 that you see just stopped for a quick break we're heading towards Chicago before ending the day in Iowa uh, bikes are parked here at the back pretty warm day we've done about 510 kilometers that's about 320 miles but good riding no traffic so we crossed the border about two hours back so overall a pretty good day we'll keep you posted like I said nothing much we're just covering distance for the next two days so that's what is all happening but I'll keep you posted as we progress here at the mobile gas station and quite a few things so see you soon Riding on this road for about two plus hours. It's I-94 heading towards Chicago. Pretty hot day, about 89, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees centigrade. So a hot day, uh, taking a few stops. It's all about covering distance as I said gets pretty boring after some time when you're covering distance but to arrive at the destination and enjoy all the Rockies uh, we have to do this from 
Ontario or more specifically Toronto but uh, looking forward to the beautiful ride ahead looks like there's a traffic stop and I think our arrival time will be around 10 p.m. in the evening and gotta stop for another two hours for lunch let's see how it goes what we get it will be around 4 p.m. or 4 30 5 p.m. before we have our lunch we've been riding for almost uh, 12 hours now extremely exhausted today and still about uh, three hours away from our hotel so we'll arrive at 11 p.m. central time a pretty long day pretty exhausting just riding on the highway and which is not fun so but still keeping high hopes uh, for another day tomorrow and then the fun begins just thought to give you an update stop to fill up gas here at uh, love gas station <laughs> good morning everyone day two of our trip after yesterday's 16 and a half hours of ride brutal 1350 kilometers about 800 miles we were tired by the time we got here central time uh, 11 p.m but woke up today morning it's around 7 a.m now heading to denver colorado so that's our day two again covering distance we have to do about i would say 1100 kilometers which is about 500 600 miles so that's uh what's in for today bikes ready we already geared up and yeah just clean the windshield and let's head out just left our hotel hampton inn in uh, iowa yeah, i believe this is their capital des Moines. that's where we are leaving from i hope i pronounce it right heading to uh words denver colorado and now for now we have a long day about it showing me uh, eight hours and 52 minutes so nine hours of riding obviously that won't happen we'll probably be taking some breaks but a lot of breaks yeah today we decided to take yesterday we were sore down like badly after riding for 16 and a half hours not fun boys not fun but you gotta do what you gotta do but good day today nice warm it's already about close to uh, I would say 90 Fahrenheit 90 Fahrenheit 27 degrees centigrade so very warm morning I'm already sweating but fun day heading to Omaha Nebraska for now and we'll end the day in Denver but I'll keep you posted as it goes. Maybe I'll come across some fun places. But yeah, looking forward to sharing the trip with you. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. If you're enjoying these videos. Just stopped for a break here at the Starbucks and it's extremely hot, like about 105 Fahrenheit, 37, 38 degrees centigrade, brutal day got another six seven hours to go so let's see how it goes just past the sign that says welcome to colorado center in about two miles brutally hot day today about 40 degrees centigrade close to 9900 degrees fahrenheit very very hot we are about already close to uh 10 hours on the road it will be 13 hours by the time we end the day uh, I'm, I'm exhausted to say I'm exhausted is probably uh, not fair but after doing uh, 2500 kilometers in two days and today was extremely hot uh, yeah I'm tired so let's see how the day goes and uh, We'll, we'll take it from there tomorrow. We already have passed two time zones from Eastern to Central and then now we'll be in mountain time. So let's see, let's see how, where, how the day goes. But yeah, overall just been, uh, like I said, 
passing through just highway <laughs> trying to you know get as many miles to reach uh, Denver and then the series of Rockies start from there tomorrow third day or if I take a break then probably from the fourth day as the Sun is setting down in front of me in the west there we are almost reaching Denver in 53 minutes the weather has gone much better nice cool breeze and we are currently on I-76 Denver that's where we are heading I don't know if you can see the horizon straight down there but I see some uh, shape of mountain I don't know if the camera is able to capture that on the far right but what a beautiful view what a beautiful way to end today's day thank you so much for tuning in for the last two days there was not much to uh, show you so I would have combined both day one and two but let's start the day tomorrow from Denver Colorado heading to the Rockies and till next time ride safe take care and I'll see you in the next one make sure to give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss on any future upcoming videos